All right, all right. Here we go. Uh, it's a new week. We're going to make a new file and do some drawing. But uh, and the first thing I want to do is set up a, a custom seed file since uh, I'm getting tired of changing the setting each time I open stuff. So what I'm going to do first, though, is make a backup of where the seed files are. So if we just do File New, you notice there's a very long directory name right here. The C program data microstation V8. I select it work but up up but up but but all the way out there. I'm gonna hit control C to copy that so that I know where that directory is because I may want to come back to it at some point. Okay. I'll cancel out of this. And I'm gonna show you my directory here. There's one, there's the other. So I've got two directories open here, two files open. In this this one here, I'm going to hit Control V and then backspace over that file name and hit Enter. So this is the directory on my hard drive where these seed files live. I want to be able to keep that. If you grab this icon right here and drag it over to your, where you usually work, in my case the CAE 101 CAD library, I drag and drop and you see I did it once already just to practice. But that makes a shortcut so that I can find that again. And that's sort of essential because at some point we're going to do th start doing 3D later in the semester and that's going to be important. Now we can switch back to MicroStation. File new. And what I'm going to do right now is make a file called seed. I'm just going to be a 2D file. And I'm going to make it in inches. That's why I normally will work with. So let's hit let's, let's save. So now I've got a file open. This is my seed file. I think I want to have this view maximized. I'll look at my view attributes and shut the grid off. I'll take uh, settings, design file, working units, switch to inches and inches. We should be pretty used to this stuff by now, shouldn't we? And I'll make them fractions in quarter of an inch. Okay, hit OK. File, save settings to make sure it goes. And then uh, File New. And I'm going to make one called Week 3. Oops, Week 3. Hit Browse. And then I got to go to My Libraries. This is where I usually work. And pick that seed file that I just made. Seed 2D in inches. Okay. Keep in mind we're dealing with two different files here. The one seed file essentially just sets up a starting environment for you to work in. So you don't want to mess with that too much, but if you can have a custom one, that makes your work a lot faster. So now you can see it comes up with the exact same settings even though I'm now in week three. I have the same settings as that seed file I created. Whoa, there it is. The largest dump truck in the world. Caterpillar 797B. Gross weight of over a million pounds. It can haul 380 tons of material and it's a little over 21 feet tall. Cool. Now let's go over drawing stuff uh, with those units. Remember that if we were in inches and inches right now with master unit. So if I left click, move over, I want to go over uh, 48 and a half inches. I hit 48 on the keyboard, space, 1 slash 2. And you can see it typing in at the bottom of the screen. Okay, so there's a 48 and a half inch long line. Right click to get out of that. What if we, for argument's sake, switch to feet and in inches? but leave the format on master unit. Hit OK. 
then I can just type in feet in fractions. So I go left click, I move over, I can type, uh, you know, four and a half, four space, one slash two, and left click. And I can do four and a half feet, correct? Right click to get out of that. The third way you can do it, settings, design, file, working unit, this is getting repetitive, is to master unit, subunit, hit OK, left click, move over, let's say we want to do four and a half feet, we're going to type four for the master unit, colon to get to the subunit, six, and maybe we want to do, put a half inch in there, then you do space, one slash two. All right. Hopefully that demonstrates how you can use feet and inches. I just wanted you to hear the different colons and spaces so you knew how to do that. Another thing you can keep in mind is uh, all these toolboxes we're using, like SmartLine, uh, we can access those. I don't have to click over there. I can use the, the uh, keyboard. You can essentially use your left hand on the keyboard and right hand on the mouse kind of deal. So. So if I just, I'm up moving around out here and I hit the W key, and then I hit the 1 key to place a block, now I'm in the block tool, you know, so I could do that pretty easily. I could also do the Q key, and then the 1 key, and do a smart line, and you know, that's pretty easy. So E key, 1 for a circle, start in the center, left click, left click, there's a circle, just like we did before. And once you kind of get used to where those shortcuts are, um, that'll maybe speed up your, your work. Another thing that trips people up regularly is the toolboxes. Maybe you've moved your primary tools out, which happens to have AccuDraw in it, and a lot of other things, and it gets closed. Now, where is it? It's under the Tools menu right here in primary tools primary these five up at the top here are kind of the, the significant ones there it came back and I can dock that back up there but you've also got tools tool boxes will give you a giant list of a variety of things that may be useful to you so the primary one I think is in here as well yeah primary tools so you can always Turn them on and off from, from that interface as well. Okay.